my high school had an introductory glass class, and I was uh, one of the fortunate ones to take that. And I was, I fell in love with it from the day, from the first time I tried it. I was doing ceramics as an elective, an elective class in high school, and then they offered glass blowing, so I moved in that direction. It's, it's the instant gratification of a, of a piece. When you're working on a piece, you take it from start to finish, and when you're done, it's it. Unlike a lot of other mediums like ceramics and painting, it's an ongoing process before you have a finished work of art. Well, generally when you're working on a process, the process in glass is you have an idea and you, go, you try to execute. And usually in the process of executing, you come up with some other concept. It may not work, but you'll see, wow, this could be a jellyfish or this could be something else, or I can use this for uh, a sea anemone design. It's because it's it, glass blowing is a lot of technique. So you have to learn the different techniques, and most of that comes from trial and error experiment. When I was doing, first started with a lot of the other people who were doing glass in the 70s, you know, our work was pretty, I would say weak, but we're all weak. So it was the level playing field, so we're all making, you know, entry level glass because no one was really teaching glass. Even like at Chico State, they had a glass class, but the teacher didn't know how to blow glass. He just ran the department. And that's how it was in my high school. The teacher had a lot of energy to bring the program to the table, but then that was it. We're all on our own. It seemed, it seemed a natural fit because it's it's fluid. You know, glass is fluid. Has that you know the transparency of the glass. It just it was. Uh, when I first saw a jellyfish at the Monterey Bay Aquarium, I go, God, if that could be done in glass. That would be cool. So that's how I got started. I grew up on the ocean, so too, and I always had a. Uh, you know, a lot of interest in what's underneath the ocean, and so that's how that's played out. For more information on our stories, you can go to theorion.com.